Hey, what's up, y'all? If you've been following along, you may know that I'm doing a full bathroom remodel. It all started because of a broken toilet, and when I decided to replace it, I was like, you know what? While it's out, might as well pour an epoxy floor. And then my wife was like, well, you might as well paint the walls too. So I said, okay. So this video is just going to show you uh, the different tools that I have bought. And if you're doing painting and or epoxy floors, this is literally everything you will need to do the entire job. And I've spent probably $1,500 just in tools and about $500 in materials such as paint and epoxy consumables and stuff. So here's what we got here. Um, but before I show you, please subscribe, like the channel, and hit the bell so you can get new notifications when I post videos. All right, here we go. Start over here. The Glacier Bay, the big box down there is just the toilet. You can pick whatever toilet you want. Now I bought this um, spray gun, and this is probably the single most expensive tool that I bought. Now I will be painting uh, with rolling and hand brush uh, for the little corners and stuff, but I bought this so I can do the cabinets uh, with a fine finish so they look really nice and smooth and clean and don't leave any like grooves in there such as uh, you would with a, a roller. I also bought this awesome vacuum here. Um, this thing, <laughs> it sucks good. Like it's a great vacuum. Like it's not a bad one. I bought this one because this is the one that I did have. This little bitty shop back here. It's kind of cute and <laughs> what a joke compared to that big monster right there. I did buy one of these little exhaust things so it's not just shooting straight air out and it's got a little foam on there so it keeps a lot of the dust contained in there. Um, and then uh, here's my little workshop right here. I do all my epoxy work, art stuff. Here's all my cross molds. This has nothing to do with the bathroom model. I'm just showing you since I'm right here beside it. I got a few crosses made. There's three different molds there. Got some epoxy. All my pigments are in this box, and I just this is the mess that I make when I'm doing epoxy crosses. All right, let me show you the rest of my stuff, uh, tool wise, for the bathrooms. All right, and here's another look at a lot of the other tools and things needed. So I'll just start over here and then we'll go to the rest because I have a bunch laying right here on the bed but we'll get started here we got a paint tray with liners so you can just throw these away when you don't need um you don't really need this i had the respirator when i was grinding the floors just so i wasn't sniffing in a bunch of the uh dust from the tile glass cleaner so you can clean your mirrors and shower glass you got sanders for uh after using your joint compound right here to fill in holes and like that, you can come back in with a sander and uh, sand off the um, excess that you don't need. All right, and then we got a uh, stripping gel with the paint brushes. These are for the trim or any um, cabinet doors or faces. Uh, you can pull the uh, existing paint off. Um, got <laughs> welders. Um, nippers what we call whelpers i just brought those in case i needed to grab something and pull it or whatever don't really need those much i don't even use it yeah screwdrivers phillips and flathead i have a multi-tool here that's what i was grinding down the tiles with in the corners um i changed my attachments on it uh pin and a tape measure uh, i got some wood putty so after you nail the trim into the uh, walls you can fill in the nail holes before you paint a final coat over it got a rubber mallet a claw hammer this is a trim puller use that to pull the trim off the walls when you're pulling it out i got paint i have a primer here and then i have the cabinet and trim paint um and right here is actually a different color paint you can't see barely but that's the gray that's going to be on there so that's going to be for all the walls acetone to clean all the tools off here's some different attachments for a vacuum which came on to the grinder here that's the original grinder shield but i put on this dustless 
shroud so when you're grinding it keeps all the dust down and I didn't have a hose for that so that's why I had to buy the attachment here so it, it would fit to my vacuum um, an extra clamp in case I need it of course you got paper towels clean up any messes you got uh, got a drill here uh, that's going to be for mixing the epoxy uh, later on um, got a hand sander oops that shouldn't be on there hand sander here with a bunch of different grits uh, these are the net ones sand net so you can like reuse them I did have this one but those tear up really fast and easy so I bought a lot of these extras here different grits I don't even remember what I use that for uh, here's the trim off of the blinds I don't know why that's over here but got my battery charging station extra batteries this is a little tool to change the bit off of here if you got to change the different attachments off all different kinds of tape we got um, frog tape of different colors scotch tape I got foil tape to tape down the registers from different uh, floor transitions um, I have a bunch of caulking with a caulk gun and I got the little um, bead ball thing so you can clean up the extra uh, caulking and make it a smooth uniform um, look I have safety equipment I got safety glasses a mask got some gloves knee pads bunch of different razor blades here with uh, replacements utility knives I got square um, blades here I got a, a 15 in one tool painters tool helps with all different kinds of things I got a mixing pail right here two gallons uh, because I got some TSP which is weird it um, I believe stands for tri sodium phosphate but it says phosphate free how is it phosphate free if it's TSP Anyway, you're supposed to mix that in with two gallons of water to one part of that. Um, so this is going to be a storage container for all the excess I don't need. I'm going to pour what I need into this bottle here, and I can use this to clean up any um, residue or gunk that I don't need. I got instructions for the epoxy. <laughs> um, if your sinks are clogged up, you can use this little bad boy right here to go in there and clean it up. Anyway, that's... So far, a lot of the tools, but here's the rest over here. I have a tapered uh, hand. Um, right, I, I'm sorry, I can't even think of the word right now. But anyway, the down pole goes on to these because these are tapered fit and you just tighten the bolts down. These are squeegees. So these are for basically spreading the epoxy around once it's poured on the floor. I got some white pigment here from Diamond Coat. Liquid pigment, they go in for the base coat because I am doing a white marble. Uh, these are the tips for the spray gun I showed you earlier. This is for the fine finish for the cabinet faces and stuff. I have a torch here to pop any bubbles while the epoxy is curing um, uh, before it actually sets up. And then actually, let's move over. Once it cures up, you switch over to this. They got radius 360 sanding pad and this is a 120 grit that goes on it. And you can uh, pop any of the bubbles that did exist after this got most of them out. But the porous uh, substrate will actually still create bubbles. So when they are, you can pop them with that before you pour your next coat. Uh, speaking of pouring epoxy, this is a foam cover for this T-bar applicator. And here's the pole for the T-bar. This has a screw on. And this is also my uh, squeegee. It's got a sharp corners. These are for pulling on the corners of the trim uh, they call it cutting in so you can cut in the corners with the sharp corners here uh, then we got some 3 8 nap we got some quarter inch nap uh, 9 inch rollers with that combo kit there which a couple others we got the little 4 inch foam rollers and their little pails can never have enough mixing sticks we got some putty knobs here a couple different sizes 2 4 and 6 inch we got a trowel um, what else we got? Sanding pad here. Oh, that's where the other one went. Okay, this should be over here with this. <laughs> there we go. Now we're a little bit more organized. You got a mixing pail. I'm using this for the epoxy. This is also for the epoxy, but I also need to mix this in with some, uh, I think it's called Quick Sand 20 or something like that. I'll show you in a minute when we go in the bathroom. Got some dusters. I'm about to use this to go clean off the walls for our paint. 
Uh, some gloves, in case you want to use gloves for any other thing. And this here I call a tapering gun, but it's a hand masker. You just pour your film out, it hooks to the tape, tape off your areas, and then you can rip it off. Uh, so there's a lot more tools right there that you will definitely need for this entire project. And let me show you the last bit. All right, in here I have an air compressor, and that's just to blow any dust anywhere off that you need. And we come over here, got a little step stool. I got a trash bucket. I just threw those in the shower to get them out of the way. Um, put some slats above the toilet here, or not the toilet, the tub, and a board on there so I can stand on it later to get to the top of the corners here. Uh, we got a fan to circulate some air because that little thing is just a funny joke. It doesn't move enough air to circulate in here. Um, let me scoot this over and show you. All right, this is epoxy right here. This is the part B hardener, and inside here is the part A, the resin, so that's where I'm going to mix it. And it's um, Easy Sand 20. I say quick sand. It's Easy Sand 20. 20 means 20 minutes it sets up joint compound. So you mix that in with the first layer to pour under this floor, and it kind of thickens it up to cover any of the grooves. I did put joint compound and all these tile grout marks, the grout lines here. Um, but the sand actually helps thicken it up a little bit. So you can pour it in here and get it in all the smaller crevices and thicken it up some so that way it doesn't waste too much actual epoxy. Um, I have extra buckets here because once you set your first uh, mix, you need to pour it into another cleaner container before you pour it out to make sure you get every little bit uh, of epoxy that was unmixed. Um, once you pour your epoxy in the floor, uh, I'm going to buy some alcohol to pour into here and you just kind of spray it and that kind of also helps uh, pop bubbles. So I'll come in here with a torch if there's more I'll come back in after the torch I'll spray some alcohol on there to pop some more bubbles. This is just a light of a better operated light just you don't really need this but if you want you can use it. I use it for the darker spots because even with all the lights on in the bathroom this closet right here that I'm doing kind of gets dark in there in the bottom sometimes so I'll uh pour put the light on in there so i can see what i'm doing um and then this actually i'm going to be using that next in the floor i've already swept this entire floor i've mopped this floor i'm going to come back next and spray tsp in the floor to clean it up with that and then once that's clean i will come back with some more alcohol and as the alcohol is down there i will use this to sweep up the alcohol um and that is pretty much it i believe so just a quick run through we'll start here and go back to where we started i'm just going to show you all the stuff that we have so uh we've got a sprayer epoxy quick set 20 a dust broom mop thing you got an air compressor right here and here's a lot of your paint needs mainly and then your epoxy spreaders. And then over here, some more paint needs, other actual tools, and some PPE. And here it's hard to see because the lights are not on in here, but you got your vacuum, your replacement toilet, and your spray painter gun. And that's pretty much to do floors with epoxy and painting the walls and all the trim and stuff. So thanks for tuning in. You're welcome for all the tools that you need. Um, pretty much laying out everything. Cause I've looked at a bunch of videos and there's not really any single video out there that tells you everything that you need uh, to do this job. So I figured I'd do this video to show everybody basically what you need to do the job uh, most of these tools I got from Home Depot. Some of them I ordered on Amazon. Uh, I ordered the epoxy from Countertop Epoxy uh, based out of Grand Junction, Colorado, and that's where I took my epoxy courses, um, or course, plus watching a lot of their videos to learn how to do epoxy work. I also watched a lot of epoxy videos from Stone Coat Countertops, and that's where I also learned a lot of the flooring jobs and knowing how to uh, properly prep the surface for um, 
the epoxy pours. So anyway, yeah, so you got uh, Home Depot, Amazon, countertop epoxy, and Stone Coat countertops. Uh, those are like the main four websites that I use to get all of my materials from. So you're welcome. <laughs> it's a lot of information, a lot of tools, a couple different websites. Uh, but stay tuned and uh, keep up with the progress of this bathroom model. And I'll just show you here a picture of kind of what I'm working with so you can see um, the transition and the progress as I go. One second, I'll flip the camera around here. I did pour some foil tape down there between the carpeted floor and the bathroom tile, which I need to redo it because it messed up. Trimmed off the entire place. Everything is about to get painted. These walls are not going to be this tan color no more. Filled in holes there. These are going to be gray. So I've got all this taped off. This nasty freaking bathroom. I don't like this bathroom in here. The toilet room, I call it. Uh, the previous owner smoked in here, so it like stained up a lot of yellow. That is gross. That is not the original color. Uh, but then outside of that, we got these walls here that are about to get painted. I'm about to do this all tonight. Um, yep, yeah, so we'll see. Everything's going to be a nice little transition here soon. So check it out. We're going to have fun. This was the worst part of the entire job is prepping this dang floor right here. Spreading out the joint compound on the grout lines wasn't bad, but it was all the grinding that sucked. And I just removed that panel so I could fill the holes in and so I can paint it with the cabinets. Um, and it's out of the way. I ain't doing it the lazy way, I'm doing it the right way. All right, well, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned and check the progress out soon. Take care.